People often say, are the heroes that the British used to produce, are they gone, are they finished? Are we now living in the Celtic, the, not the Celtic tiger, sorry, the Asian tiger? We're living in their times. We're living now with the Chinese and the Koreans. They are now at the top of the tree. They are now the big cheeses. They are now the people who are going to dominate the world. It doesn't matter how many cheap radios they build or cheap cars they build. They'll never have what we have. And that's British blood. Yeah. Yeah. So are our heroes gone? Are they consigned to history? No, they're not. Because I want us to be quiet now and I want us to think very seriously of this. Our forefathers who stood at Waterloo, before that even Agincourt, Waterloo, Passchendaele, Dunkirk, the men that held Korea, the men who yomped through the Falklands to reclaim our lands, and even today, our lads who are out fighting in Helmand Province, the other heroes it's produced today, but coursing through your veins, through your hearts, is the blood that stood like this at Agincourt. It is the blood that stood at Waterloo. The same blood that is in your veins was the same blood and DNA that was at Trafalgar, Dunkirk, the Somme, Passchendaele. The same blood. Their heroes aren't dead. They're here tonight with us. They live in and through each and any one of you. You are the sum total of your ancestors. Think what they suffered. Think what they gave. Think how they bled and died and enriched the soil in every continent across this globe to build this great Britain. And never forget, it is great. The traitors are trying to destroy it. But we have the blood that was at Agincourt. We have the blood that was at Dunkirk. We have the blood that was at the Somme. How can Trevor Phillips, how can these people ever hope to destroy us? I'll tell you how. By destroying the British National Party. That's the only bulwark against tyranny. Is the British National Party. You people have joined. You have given. You have campaigned. You have leafleted. We are the front line. We are the thin red line. Against total destruction. Annihilation. And oblivion. We are the people who stand in the gap. You remember... The famous film Rock's Drift. When the Welsh guardsmen or fusiliers, I can't remember what they were, but they stood there. Wave after wave after wave of attack came. Did they yield? Did they give up? Did they run away and cry in a corner like most British people do now? I don't want to join the BNP because they'll get any trouble. Oh, I'll maybe lose my job. You people have made a sterner stuff. The people at Rock's Drift have made a sterner stuff. You joined the BNP. You stood fast. The people at Rock's Drift stood fast. And we turned back the enemy. And I say to you tonight, we will turn this country round. Yeah! The British are a law-abiding, decent people. Fair-minded people. We gave the world the, the system of law that is so envied. But you have people like Phillips and Jack Straw. And remember, Jack Straw's father was an immigrant. This country sheltered them, fed them, gave them safety, gave them sanctuary. Yet when war came, when war came, and this country, his home, needed defending, where was he? In jail because he refused to fight. A point that our chairman so perfectly pointed out to question time. Where, where were our fathers and grandfathers? In khaki, where they should have been. <coughs> but these people have made a fatal mistake, friends. They have mistaken our decent natures for being soft. Well, I can tell you, just looking around this room tonight, there's nothing soft about the British. There's nothing soft about Blackburn. And if Trevor Phillips... If some of his cronies came here, they would soon find that out. They will find out. These lounge lizards, 
they slither about Westminster trying to ban us from everything banning the chairman for using the place if they came here tonight folks would we show them we're soft no. or would we show them the door the door yeah. the door But finally, you know, over the last year, and I want you to congratulate yourselves and feel good in yourselves. Yes, this is a fundraising night. We know that. And people say, well, what's the point? Somebody said to me, what's the point of money? What do we achieve? <laughs> I can only think that person has been in jail or something for the last year. <clears throat> what, what do we achieve? Two years ago, this party had 6,000 members. Two years ago, this party worked out of people's houses. It had no offices. It had no premises. It had no machinery. It had nothing. Just a lot of good, willed, decent British people. That's all we had. But you know something? That's enough to build on. Your chairman had the sense and the foresight to start a professionalisation programme. What do we have now? Five offices across the country. Two MEPs. A hundred and odd councillors. This party's going places. And think what we've achieved considering what we've had to put up with. What have we had to put up with in the last couple of years? Membership leak. How many folk were on the list? Man, put your hands up. How many folk were on the list? Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> right. Thank you. How many folk are not on the list? Put your hands up. Who's not on the list? There must be more than that. Right. When are you going to get on the list? It's time you sign him up. Listen, they thought if they produced the membership list of the BNP, we'd all run and hide and be scared and be terrified. I was manning the phones that week. Nick said to me, Jim, this is going to be really rough. You help out? I said, certainly. I was manning the phones. Do you know what I got all week? People in their 70s and 80s who lived through the war saying, son, sign me up to a gold membership. There's no bugger going to intimidate me. We had hundreds of people join after that last week. But then we've had the Equalities Commission, we've had membership freezes, we've had all the attacks in the newspapers with the chairman attacked in College Green, we've had threats of violence with Tony Ward battered with a hammer, we've had all of these things. But we're no longer 6,000 strong. Because on Friday I checked the membership figures, and from now, from this week, this party, no hype, no nonsense, no sales talk, reality, this party, membership-wise, is now bigger than UKIP. Yeah!